All right, welcome back to the BST podcast. Uh, we haven't done this in a while. We started doing them back in April when the, the world kind of changed overnight and we weren't sure what was going on. We posted some things that we thought were going to be a lot better than they were. Uh, I can tell you this year has been quite a struggle uh, trying to get these racetracks open, keeping them open, uh, dealing with uh, health departments, hospitals, you name it. The things we've had to do this year just to go racing is crazy. But the reality is uh, we don't quit. We've been digging week after week. Uh, we believe each time our venues and racetracks are better. Uh, pretty much started out Holyoke, uh, kind of opened up there, kind of started it, broke the ice, if you will. Uh, then I-76, we've been running El Paso, some limited things. But uh, we got some great news with El Paso uh, talked to their health department and actually firsthand got some information actually just about five minutes ago that are uh, it's definitely going to make El Paso County a lot better than it's been. So the reality is uh, as bad as the world may seem and bad as things that are happening right now, the good thing is racing in Colorado is pretty darn good. And I'd like to update everybody on where we're at, what we're doing. We're pretty much mid-season uh, with all of our racetracks. Uh, this weekend, July 31st, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., we'll be at Phillips County Raceway, Holyoke, for round five of our Freedom Tour. We have our ASCS Sprint Cars. Uh, they'll be on tap. It'll be the last time the Sprint Cars are at Phillips County, so make sure you don't miss that one. We have our five divisions of IMCA, and then we have, we have our Dwarfs as well. So we'll have seven divisions racing. Uh, all concessions are open. The beer garden's open. Grandstands are open. It's basically like a, the world should be back in the good old days. As we mentioned earlier, even have champagne to the winners. So we spray the winners with champagne. It's good times. Uh, invite everybody out. Grandstands are $15. We have a $10 senior and military discount, $5 for kids, and three and under are always free. So uh, make sure you do not miss that event. That's Phillips County. And then uh, on to El Paso County. As mentioned, we're pretty much mid-season there. Uh, it's been a little bit of a struggle there, more so than some of the other tracks. Uh, but what I can tell you is, uh, as I mentioned, I just got off the phone with the health department. Uh, we've got a quote-unquote COVID safety plan that they have approved. Uh, she just approved it. She's sending us the email. But uh, I'll hold this up there. This is a diagram of the racetrack and the grandstands. Essentially, essentially, what we're able to do starting on our double header is open up the south and the north end of the grandstands and actually hold 250 plus on each side. We do need to close the center section. We're dividing it north and south, if you will. Uh, we also have encouraged people, if they want, the drive-in style. And you can pull in where the buses are. We've also, if you noticed how we did last weekend, you can pull up on that hill over there. So you can bring your trucks, cars, and you can park there. And those numbers do not affect our total numbers, which is a good thing. The only total number that really truly matters now and accounts is going to be in the grandstands. But it's times five of what they've given us before. So we're almost back to normal there. We're not as great as we'd like to be but i'd like to thank the health department thank the county for hanging in there and thank you guys the drivers and fans for hanging in there because it's been very challenging let's just say but uh great news at el paso county starting next weekend and we actually are going to do a double header um i believe it's the seventh and eighth Friday the 7th and Saturday the 8th and the addition to the Friday show will be due to the fact that we did not run the fair show. They had a non-public event at the fair so we did not race the fair race so this is going to be the rescheduled race of the fair race keeping our total number of races the same. Uh, Friday night our double header will cons consist of the first time the cat tour has been to El Paso, which means the first time we'll have modifieds. So we'll have five divisions of IMCA, including the modifieds. Uh, we also have the Power Eye Lightning Sprints running both nights, along with the Dwarfs. Now, on Saturday, Saturday only, the ASCS Sprint Cars will be on hand as well. So it's going to be a great double header at El Paso County coming up on the 7th and 8th. 
uh, as mentioned. And Friday night's races will start at 6, Saturday will start at 5. And, and along with opening of the grandstands, also opening of the beer garden, um, as well as more concessions. So things are getting back to normal there. Uh, looking forward to doing that. I know everybody's excited about that. So that should be great racing. And that will continue through the season all the way till our, our season championship race for a lot of the divisions will be October 10th. So we'll be racing into October at El Paso, just so everybody knows. Uh, then Phillips County, we got a little break in August, and then we come back in September for two races. A uh, little bit about our tours. We've concluded our tri-state tour. We'll post all those points coming up. Mind you, anybody and everybody, please go to our website, www.bstracing.com. All of our schedules are printable there. All of our points will be updated. You can go to all of our sanctioning bodies' websites through there. You can go to IMCA. You can get your updated IMCA points that way. And like I said, you can print any and all of our updated schedules because, mind you, these schedules, I think, have changed 52 times this year. I'm really tired of changing schedules, by the way. And I do believe what we have now, we can run throughout the year. Our Power I 600 schedule, they actually still have a lot of racing going on. Make sure you catch those guys. They're doing awesome. And then, of course, as mentioned, the ASCS Sprint Cars. I can't say enough about uh, Mike Hathaway and the guys that are helping with the ASCS. Uh, Mike Hathaway, Hathaway Performance is our, our liaison for the Sprint Cars. He's done an excellent job. He was actually going to try and be on today, but he's trying to get ready for tomorrow. Uh, so I'll give him a kitchen pass on that. But Mike, he's done a great job. Our sprint car count is probably getting close to the 20 on average. Um, we're actually looking this weekend, as mentioned, Friday night they'll be at Holyoke. Uh, because of Friday night and the distance, we might not quite get as many as we do Saturday. But we're looking for 15-plus at Holyoke, and then we're looking to see if we can break that 20 at I-76 on Saturday night. So the sprint cars are doing awesome. That division is not going anywhere. If anybody's interested in open wheel racing, I highly advise looking at our sprint car division. You can get with me. You can get with Mike Hathaway. Our now 600s, I'd like to tell everybody right now, there's a lot of people that were talking a little bit about maybe doing something with another division. We are sticking with the now 600 with the uh, 600 division. Uh, it's getting better. We actually have some help on some tech on that. We've got a liaison helping us out coming up. So that's going great. Our IMCA stuff is as strong as ever. So uh, believe it or not, like I said, as bad and as ugly as the world may seem, whatever you do, don't watch the news. That's my advice there. Uh, don't listen to it. Don't watch it. Watch it. Just come out to the races. That's my advice. So um, racing's great. Dirt track is awesome. Uh, we're having a blast. We're at mid-season championships. Uh, have all surpassed. Some have actually concluded, as I said, on the tri-state. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody out at our racetracks consisting of El Paso County, Phillips County, and I-76 for the remaining portion of the 2020 season. And once again, go to www.bstracing.com for all your information. And uh, you can always call us if you have any questions. But uh, life's good. See you at the racetrack. And before I forget, for anybody that cannot make it to the races, we have been streaming our races all season long, and I'd like to thank Andrew for that. He's done an exceptional job. But for anybody that cannot make it to the races for whatever reasons, health complications, or the fact of you just can't get to the racetrack that night, make sure you go to www.imca.tv on our race night. We, we do film and um, stream all of our races from start to finish at all of those racetracks on imca.tv and it's going exceptionally well so i want to remind everybody and tell your friends tell your family so if uh, little johnny's racing and grandma can't get to the track best thing she can do she can watch it at home from the comfort of your couch uh, any device or on your tv so all of our races are streamed www.imca.tv el paso county i-76 and phillips county all through the 2020 season and that's going great and once again i'd like to thank andrew for that and personally hopefully you make it to the track but if you can't make sure you catch it on imca tv thank you